three that I'd like to share with you, and because one of them is sad, I'm going to start with that one so I can end on a happier note. Um, well, you know, it's a piece called You Carried It. Uh, it's about my friend Lauren. The priest said, before you were interned, you shared the cross of the Lord. The Lord carried that cross in his walk before his mortal death, and you carry that cross for years. As that cross became heavier and heavier, you could no longer lift that cross with your arms, but still, you carried it. You never forsook the ones who gave you this death sentence, and still, you carried it. You never spoke to me of the pain. You never spoke to me of the injustice. And silently, you carried it. For months, you could no longer even speak of the cross you bear. And still, you carried it. You spoke only lightheartedly. You brought out true love from everyone around you. And how you made people love how you made people good only now reminds me that with you, like our teacher, like our friend, I'll, that I can only continue to pray that the world will be a better place because you were a part of it. In the past, I always thought I was alone. I was wrong. You helped me by giving love and giving hope. Now, I'm strong. This one is called Elephants Carry the World. Elephants carry the world in a line, in a chain. They walk, hold up the earth. And I remember sitting in the passenger seat with you driving down the road, and two elephants started walking down the street in front of us. Slow down. Get out of the way, I thought. And as you started to pull over, I looked at you in a panic, and I said, I, I, I don't even have my camera with me. You pulled over, and the two elephants, one much larger than the other, started walking across the street and stopped right on the sidewalk, not three feet in front of us. We both just sat there in shock and in awe until I watched a man from a building across the street come running toward us, slowing down and stopping at a ledge between us and the elephants. He placed some hard wrapped candies on the ledge and said to the elephants, I thought you might like these. <laughs> and then he slowly backed away. All I could think was, how are they supposed to open candies wrapped in plastic like this? They don't have opposable thumbs. And you heard my thoughts and you said, elephants are highly intelligent creatures. And I thought, they carry the world, you know. And then I looked over and I saw the two elephants get on large bicycles and start to ride away. <laughs>